Welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to show you how to glue up your box. Uh, I have all my materials already laid out right here. You'll see that I have my box of course that I have checked by dry fitting to make sure that everything fits nicely and I know how it all fits together. I would labeled the bottom and the top and I make sure that the top and bottom are in the right place. I'm also going to need some of this clear packaging tape. We're going to use this to tape the box together. Uh, you'll need a scissors to cut that tape. Uh, you're going to need one of these squares in order to check to make sure that the corners are square or at 90 degrees before the glue dries. Uh, and then you're going to need some glue. So when you have all of that stuff ready, you want to make sure that you have plenty of time to do this because it takes a bit of time and you want to make sure that you don't have a crisis and they have time to fix it. So I always start glue up at the beginning of class. If you're not ready, then you want to wait until you have time. So you might wait for the next class period. All right, I'm going to start by taking my box apart and laying it out right in front on this table. You can do this at a uh, one of the work tables. You just want to make sure that you clean up any glue after you're done. So I'm going to take my rubber bands off here and I'm going to carefully put my rubber bands back in the rubber band box for later. And I'm going to carefully unwrap this so I know where all the parts go. Alright, now it's all laid out. So if I close it back together, all those parts are in the right place. I'm going to take my top and bottom and just set them aside for now. And then I'm going to get my tape here. So I'm going to take and find the beginning of the tape. There we go. And I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to stretch this out with the sticky part up. a little bit more than the length of my sides put together. And then I'm going to cut the end. All right. Sometimes it's helpful to have somebody help you do this because the tape is a little sticky. All right. Now it's a little hard to see on the camera, but uh, I'm lining that up as best I can. And then I'm going to place my pieces onto that piece of tape. And I'm going to try to make sure that the tops and bottoms are parallel with the piece of tape. So there's my first piece. There's, the tape. there's my second piece. I'm making sure that I put these edges very tight up next to each other and that the top and the bottom are lined up here at the bottom. And the next one, make sure that I have this tight against here and that the top and bottom are lined up here. And then the last piece. And you should be able to see, now I'm going to grab the glue. Uh, this glue bottle, uh, cap will be on. The cap goes right here in this spot to keep it out of the way. It has the nozzle right here and it works by squeezing this. The glue gets pushed up through here and then you're able to apply glue uh, as much as you need. A lot if you squeeze a lot, a little if you squeeze just a little, but you have a lot of control with this type of glue bottle. So where I'm going to apply the glue is in a couple of different places. I'm going to apply it to all of the miter joints. So there are four of those total three in the middle and then one at the end when it comes together and you want to put glue along here but not too much because it might squeeze out on the inside. Now don't be afraid to get the glue on your fingers because it wipes off pretty easily and if you have a wet paper towel you can wipe it off. Yeah. Now I got a little extra glue over here I'm going to try to get rid of there. I'll just move it over to this one. Uh, but you want about that much glue on those 
miters. If you have too much, then it's going to squeeze out and you're going to have glue on the inside of your box. Put a little on that end, a little on this end, and then I'm going to apply it to the ends as well. And this end over here. I grabbed a wet paper towel for helping clean up my fingers and any extra glue that might have been on the table or maybe any that you accidentally got onto the inside. So I have about 15 minutes to work with this before it starts to get too dry. So you don't have to be in a super rush, but you uh, do have to make sure that you finish it within that amount of time. So now that I have the glue there, I'm gonna add some glue to the outside grooves. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Do not put glue on the inside, only the outside because that's where the top and bottom are going to get glued in. And how much glue do I put in there? Just a little bit, just so it doesn't squeeze out. If you can see that there's just a little bit of glue in the groove there not even all the way along. It only takes a little bit of glue to hold that top and bottom in. And if you put in too much, then you're going to have a lot of glue squished out. Yep. So just a little bit along there. And then I keep going along here and I apply it to the rest of All right, now I have glue in all the places I need. A little bit over here. Yep, top groove, bottom groove. Miter, 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 miter. Now I'm ready to put my box together. I am going to start by putting this top piece back in. Remember that your name should be on the inside. So your name, I should see my name right here. And then I'm gonna do the same with the bottom piece. There's my name. I want to see my name on the bottom, which is right there. So I'm putting it back together the same as the way it was dry fit. And then I start to fold this up, kind of like wrapping a present. As you go, you want to make sure that the top and bottom are sliding into those grooves. If everything goes well, it should come together very nicely. Now on this last piece, I have this piece of tape here that I'm going to use to pull this pretty tight as I go. So I'm going to lay this piece up like this. I'm going to make sure that everything's fit in there. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to pull it pretty tight. And I'm going to make a connection with the other tape that's on this side. And what that does is it squeezes the whole box together evenly, just like the rubber bands, but with a lot more pressure and it's more reliable because the rubber bands can break, especially on the sharp corners. But this tape, heavy duty, it's gonna hold the cigarette together quite a bit. Uh, wet paper towel, I can use that to clean up any glue that's squishing out, that'll be helpful. I got a little bit too much glue over here. Hopefully on the inside, it's not squished out. If it is, I might have a little bit of cleanup once I cut my box open. Now, a couple of things that you wanna check before you're done. Uh, you can see on this corner here, if we look closely, these two sides aren't flush, meaning they're not on the same plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze that a little bit, and I'm going to feel that with my finger to make sure that those sides are flush. Yep, they are. 
You also want to make sure that your top and bottom aren't sliding around. So I want to kind of push on that a little bit. That seems good. That one seems good too. And then you also want to check to see if it's square. So I'm going to take the square and I'm going to put it on each of these corners and I'm going to look to see if there's any gap in that corner. This one looks pretty good. And if there's not, then you kind of have to squeeze it to make sure. That one looks pretty good. Got it from this side. Yep, so you're going to check all these corners to make sure that that is exactly 90 degrees. Now, if like this is a little bit wider box here, if it doesn't seem like the tape is giving enough pressure, you could add more tape, but you can also use some rubber bands just to add a little bit more pressure, especially maybe on the top and the bottom. If you have a wider box, three or four inches, the tape's only two inches wide, so it might be helpful to add a little bit more pressure to try to squeeze those together. This corner on mine was uh, not quite together, so I'm actually going to add a couple rubber bands just to that side, which is the bottom, and that's going to help squeeze that together a little bit better. All right, everything's glued. We'll make sure everything is lined up exactly how I want it because there's no undoing this if it doesn't turn out right. And once I'm confident that everything is in place, everything's square, everything's tight, then I'm going to put that away someplace safe in your locker until tomorrow. And that's it.